there it is. And can we put these like that? I guess they wouldn't really go directly. It wouldn't make sense to make them directly facing like, like straight on. They would be kind of like pointing towards the sky a bit. And I find that the legs are a little awkward to pose to make it like stable looking. There it is. There it is. I do like the the way it looks on the sh on the back, but maybe we could put them on the shoulders too. I wonder if we could do that. And yeah, the the legs, the feet rather, can be outstretched like this as a way to to kind of add further stability uh, when launching these things. I guess that's the intention. The space type. Ah, oh, the space type Porta Nova. Yeah, because there's several, right? Several different kinds of the Porta Nova. I only actually have just one. Now I want to kind of finally pose it. But yeah, there he is, the Griffin. Very cool model. Very cool design, very unique. Mm, but I think that we could do more. There's there's ways you can arrange this or add more to it or, or do something with, with all of these base parts to turn it into something uh, more to my particular tastes if that's a weird way of phrasing it like more to my my own unique style for lack of a better term as i said these things here are just kind of obscured by the rest of the model you don't really notice it and i think that they're so cool that it's a shame that they're not really all that visible the idea that these shoulders have these fans or these turbines is weird i think like and again, it just seems like something where it's almost like they intended you to kit bash this with other things and put this to good use elsewhere. That's my feeling on it, is that the way it's assembled and presented right now is cool, but it almost seems like a collection of really interesting parts that you could then harvest and turn into something else if you really wanted to. And I very well might be wanting to do that, but... Let's go to this screen.